Um, hey, well, I have a laptop finally, yay! And I'm doing my first video with my webcam. Um, I had the craziest dream last night, well, actually, this morning. And I don't know, you know, I really don't think it was a dream because I had my consciousness. So I think it was more so a vision now that I come to think of it. When I woke up this morning and it was one of those long visions where at least an hour or hour and a half. Um, when I woke up and came out of it and shook out of it. I, I don't rarely, I rarely do this but I didn't want to remember it. So I, I prayed and asked God to remove it from my memory. Um, and I, I had to wake up pleading the blood of Jesus. It was like a demonic attack in my sleep. Um, when you have a demonic attack in your sleep, when you wake up, you, you, you're shivering, you're either hot or cold, and you're sweating. Uh, you can remember very clearly and vividly what happened, and sometimes you can even still feel like I was being cut or hit in my leg, and I could feel it. When I woke up, it felt like something had been hit in my leg. Um, so if you have a demonic attack that's usually what when you wake up from it that's how it feels um in the dream and I, I went ahead and jotted it down after I forgot some of it which I don't want to remember um and I hate talking about stuff like this I'm not one of them people that like passing on bad news or bad things or evil like I, it's not it's definitely not something I enjoy uh, but in the dream I was in what looked like a FEMA camp and demons had taken over completely the Antichrist had been revealed and he was in his position of authority and I was in this FEMA camp there was a gate the tower with the man in the top of the tower with the gun. There were helicopters. It was nighttime, light shining down, if you could picture this. And in the dream, people, it was so many people mothers, daughters, white, black, all colors. And some were crying, some were frantic, some were delusional, almost like they were having, um, I don't know, just a very crazy delusional state of mind and there were others that were almost zombie like it's what you would see with somebody that has post traumatic stress disorder that's what I can explain it as something that you can picture it as um these people walking past me and as if you can picture this as each person's walking past me I'm like this cause I'm spooked Nobody around me is in their right state of mind. They, whatever happened right before I got there, must have been really bad. And um, there were children, um, like maybe 11, 12, in, uh, around that area. Um, I don't remember the state of mind the children was in, but I do remember seeing children there with their parents. Um, a black guy walked up to me and said can you please help me and he looked so sincere and I was just like well what's wrong what what happened and that's why I said it was a vision because I had my consciousness and I had my state of mind and the way I think and what I would do and how I react and as I reached my hand out to him his eyes turned black jet if you could picture jet black eyes his pupils were completely, it was like he had no pupil. Matter of fact, he didn't have a pupil. It was just a large black, um, his eye, really, the pupils were really big and black, um, glazed, and he looked empty inside, like he had no soul. And it looked like somebody that I know. And that, that was odd to me, because usually when I have visions like this, I don't usually see people that I know in it. But he resembled someone that I know. Um, and he looked at me. And when his eyes, when I saw that, I knew that he was going to try to harm me. So 
I don't know if it was a knife or a nail or what his fingernails, but something really sharp he had. And he he um, attempts to stab me, like in my chest. I don't know if he was going for my heart, my chest, or what, but he attempted to stab me. And at this point, I'm scared. And I'm fighting back. I tried to run away from him, and he grabbed the back of my leg, and I fell. And when I fell, we ended up tussling on the ground. As I finally get back up to my feet and run, I hide. And I'm hiding, and I'm scared. Like, when I woke up, I was shaking, y'all. And it was just, it, that was terrible. And, you know, um, so I'm hiding from him beside, between this tree and a building. Keep in mind, there's still people walking around that are traumatized. People that are delusional. And as I'm sitting there in, in that spot hiding, I'm observing and seeing what's going on. I also saw people up top, almost in a, um, a viewing room, kind of like at when you go to an NBA game and the people that get the tickets up in the viewing rooms where the big glass windows are. Okay, that's what it was like. They were sit, like watching like it was entertainment. It was like, um, it's a movie coming out called Hunter Games. That's a lot like this vision. This was enjoyment and entertainment for these people. And they were what you consider the elite um, and the Antichrist. People that the Antichrist has given certain positions. Um, the whole time they were watching me. There were cameras everywhere, surveillance everywhere. I mean, not one move you made was going to go unrecognized and unseen. I see this broke down white car um, right outside the gate. So my goal was to get outside the gate and in that car. I don't know if it could drive or not, but at least I would have some type of shelter and safety. Um, as I make a run for it, this particular person that's possessed with this demon, I don't know if they was, these were demons that were shape-shifting because when I saw him the second time, he looked different. His, and the only reason I knew that it was the same one was because of the eyes. I, when I, once I looked in the eyes, because someone else walked up to me, and when I looked up at him, looked into their eyes, I saw the exact same thing. So I initially knew that it was that same demonic spirit, just in a different form. Um, I picked something up off the ground. And so I'm looking to hear God talking to me and, and guiding me through this. And I grab it and he told me to go for right between his stomach and his chest. Uh, I guess that's called the um, diaphragm. And I attempted to cut him or stab him. <laughs> I tried to stab him. And when I did it, he like turned to dust and disintegrated. At this point, whatever it was in my hand, I dropped it. I ran for the car, um, got in the car, and I'm driving fast as I can, trying to get away from there. The car, I think the car quit. I don't know if I ran over something and stopped, but some type of way the car ended up quitting, and I couldn't go any farther. So I get out the car, and I'm looking on my phone because I, when I woke up, and I realized God wanted me to share this. I went ahead and did notes. Um, when I got out the car, I realized that outside the family camps, it was just as crazy. It wasn't any better than where I was previously. So, I see all these people. Some of them, like I said, were crazy. Like they were losing their mind. Like they were traumatized. There were others that were just walking around like zombies. Um, there was no laughter. There was no happiness, no joy. All of that was gone. It was just darkness, evil, deceit, deception, lust. Every evil thing that God hates is all that existed. And... I end up being attacked again by another demon or person that was possessed. I, I haven't figured out whether or not they were, that they were demons that were shape-shifting or demons that possessed people and were using them, um, using their body. So I ended up 
fighting again for my life and um I I, I stabbed him and he turned to dust again. This is when I'm outside the FEMA camp. And as I'm doing this, this military guy walks up to me and give, gave me a key. When I got the key, a few people around me were looking. I mean, people were so crazed in the eyes. If, if y'all could picture that, that's just hell in itself. And I feel so sorry for the people that are rejecting, believing in Jesus Christ and His Father God. They're going to be here to go through this. And as I'm taking this key from him, I realized once, once I woke up, I, I realized, I said, this is going to happen. The movie Hunger Games is coming out. That's not just the movie. This is going to happen. It, it may be a little different um, than when I dreamed, but it is going to happen. And I feel so bad for the people that are going to be here. I, I really do. I cried this morning, you know, and I was just like, God, anything that I can do and anything that I haven't been doing that I should be, I was more willing and I was more aware of the effort that I'm putting into telling other people about Jesus Christ. This is going to happen. Demons are going to be unleashed. There, there are demons under the Euphrates River that have been locked up. Ever since the fall of Lucifer from heaven, God is going to release these demons before Judgment Day, before the Great White Throne. During tribulation, what if I'm not mistaken, is six years? It's going to be hell on earth, literally. That's why Hollywood is so fascinated with the Book of Revelations and taking stories and spinning movies out of them based on the Bible because there's a lot of truth to that now a lot of these movies of course is twisted but this is gonna happen and God forbid you think you're a Christian and you wake up and turn the TV on and realize the rapture have happened thousands and thousands of people have disappeared and you're still here for this chaos and I feel so sorry, not just the unsaved, but the people that think they're Christians who aren't truly saved. People have no idea what terror is awaiting us. Look, especially people in the United States, we think we are safe. We have this false sense of security, and we may not admit to it, but when I walk outside, I'm not worried about a bomb, okay, in the car next to me. And we live as if there's no harm or danger in the world around us. People in the United States have a false sense of security. And when this happens, a lot of people will lose their minds. Especially when you're not prepared for it. And it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. Demons are strategically preparing for war in Armageddon against the Lord against Jesus Christ even though Jesus Christ is going to have the victory they're still trying and they're trying to take as many souls as they possibly can Satan knows this is where he's going and there's no way around it so he's going to do everything in his power he's the prince of air and we have to realize as Christians and those of us that feed on the word of God daily, those of us that pray daily, we got to get on get on it. We got to start telling people. If the Holy Spirit leads you to share the gospel with somebody, do it. Please do it. Because the things that I see in my visions and at night when I sleep, trust me, it's nothing that you ever want to live through and it's nothing you ever want to see and I'm not easy to scare when I woke up I was shaking I was almost it took 30 minutes before 
the feeling of fear and anxiety left me and it wasn't because I was afraid it was just my body's reaction to what was happening and I, I weeped and I cried today because I was just like God we so caught up worried about the wrong stuff worried about who we go be in a relationship with who we go date uh, I don't want to be lonely no more worried about what job what next business venture we're gonna go I mean there's nothing wrong with those things but you don't want to be putting most of your lifetime effort and, and, and mind into things other than Jesus Christ bottom line bottom line so if God, he may not tell you to share the gospel. He may just tell you to be kind to someone that's not kind to you. Whatever it may be. Please do not reject what God is laying on your heart. And don't be worried about what other people think about it. Do what you know God is calling you to do. And I don't ever want to dream anything like that again. I pray to God I never have to experience that. The fear that comes over you to look a spirit in the eyes that have no good in them at all. It is unexplainable. It is unexplainable. And we don't want the blood on our hands because we didn't share the gospel. It's truly good news. And we don't realize how good that news is. But the Antichrist is coming. The mark of the beast. The false prophet. Satan is on his job. And he's doing his part. We have to do ours. And I don't know who the Antichrist will be. People say it's Obama. I don't know that. I, I have, God has not spoken to me. And told me that. I do believe because in my dreams. It's a male. He's Caucasian. Or his skin is white. Maybe European. Uh, and He's a homosexual. Everything about him is the opposite. He's the complete epitome of what God hates. Okay? And I, I didn't see a face. I, I just saw the form in a very nice suit. And he had an army of people. You would not believe how many people would move at his command. Most, like, most of the military... They weren't protecting the people of the land. They were doing what the Antichrist was instructing them to do willingly. They weren't being forced. There was no gun to their head. Like I said, the military guy gave me the key. So it was like a, it's like a game. And if you can survive it, and if you can do enough to win the favor of the Antichrist and, and all the other people that are working with him you'll get a chance to get away but you know dealing with the devil it, it's always a catch-22 and a trick to it once I got in the car and started driving every road I went down led me to a dead end and then I woke up <sighs> look so it, it's, it's just it's chaos it is it, it is just going to be pure chaos and it's going to be bad but I didn't want to do this video and I went ahead and did it but, but please and continue to do your research study learn educate yourself don't live I don't even want you to take what I'm saying and run with it test what I'm saying about the spirit I have no problem with that because that's what the word of God tells us to do it shouldn't be not one person that you completely listen to 100%. Test everything that I'm saying by the Spirit. Because I know what I'm saying came from God and I'm confident in that. But I want you to come to your own conclusion of the truth. I'm just the messenger so don't shoot the messenger. I'm just passing it on. And in the future, God did tell me I will be having more visions and I'm going to share them. I'm not going to try to make up no stuff for y'all. I'm not doing this for entertainment. I'm not doing this for subscribers. And I'm not doing this for views. You know, I could care less if you like it. I'm doing it because at the end of the day, I answer to him. And <laughs> and I don't want to be displeasing to him. And I definitely don't want to be attacked <laughs> in my sleep. But God protected me. It wasn't like I was just 
exposed and unprotected. He did protect me. So, alright, but I, like I said, I'll be doing this from now on. So, alright, peace out.